Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Now, Yahweh is the true name of the Most High God of Israel, the God that's spoken of in the Bible. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquats, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yala, Yashat Allah, from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is going to be A Million Ways to Fall Out of the Truth, But Only One to Get In. Now, this, this lesson, you know, just, I was thinking of a lesson to do, you know, just got back from the plantation. And, you know, I was praying for, for an inspiration. And, you know, the Spirit gave me this title. And, you know, for me, this lesson is important because people get the knowledge of this truth. They come into this truth and they take it for granted. They don't know how important it is to, to understand this truth. You know, this truth is a gift. And when you get this truth, that doesn't mean that it's all done, you know. And this is where many camps are making mistakes. You know, many brethren that come into this truth, they make mistakes. When they, when they get to know the, the, this truth, they get to know the true name of the Most High, Yahweh. They get to know the true name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. You know, this pride comes in. Their heart, you know, their heart pumps up, you know, their pride. Excuse me for my lack of words right now. You know, their pride comes in and they think they already made it, you know. But it's not like that. Because we should remember the scripture tells you in the book of Matthew, Matthew 22, verse 14, it says, For many are called, but few are chosen. So many people are called into this truth. A lot of people are called into this truth. You know, the Most High has made it possible that many people get the knowledge of this truth. But not everyone that gets the knowledge of this truth is chosen. So this is where our humility comes in. We have to be humble. Fear the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai and fight this battle to the end because there is only one way to get in this, into this truth in which we're going to talk about. And that way is through Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth and life as written in the book of John. John 14 and verse 6. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you see, no one can come into this truth. No one can make it to the end except through Yahweh Shai. Most of us will get the knowledge of this truth through our Savior Yahweh Shai by the Spirit, which is the Rukah Kodash. But you getting this truth doesn't mean you made it already. Because remember, many are called, but few are chosen. So you see, you have lots of Hebrew Israelite camps out there. They kind of like have a fraction of this truth. They have the name and all that thing, you know. But they are demons, man. They have it, you know, imbued in their head. They think that they already made it, you know. They believe just following the commandments and doing all these commandments and all these things, you know. They believe they already made it. I'll give you an example. The group like um, Sikari. Those brothers out there, and this is not a diss or anything, but you know, I'm just speaking, you know, humbly from 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 a brother, you know, just watching things from Italy, you know, those men they filled with pride, man. Those men they got it wrong. They think because they have this truth, they they they, they made it. They made it true. That's what they think. They think that they, they even think they don't need the Son of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai. They think they're good to go. And this is pride. This is what this truth does. You know, the scripture tells you that knowledge perfect the heart. You know, 
knowledge puffet up let me let me see if i can get it i think it's the book of first corinthians it says now as touching things offered unto idols we know that we we all have knowledge now it listen it says knowledge puffet up but charity edify it so many people get into this truth they get the knowledge of this truth and it perfects you up really because you know the, the scripture says you know um i'll send you the comforter which is the holy spirit and he shall declare to you all things so you know many when i came into this truth man you know there are lots of things that i know that even the professors the uh, the, the high class professors university cambridge and all that people there are many history that they don't know but through this truth we didn't go to school we didn't attend any university the most High opened our eyes you know to a very powerful knowledge and this thing can puff your heart up and this is just one of the ways to follow up this truth there is only one way in remember and that way is through your house shy and there are a million ways to fall out many brothers are falling out because of pride many brothers are falling out because of women many brothers are falling out because of um, because of their art desires which is connected to the world many brothers are falling out because of all different kinds of things money you know so always bear this in mind now let's get to the book of um ephesians and you see those that are going to be saved are saved by grace they have been ordained from the beginning it's not through your work so all these hebrew israelite camps that are speaking on uh, about uh, about you know we we, we we follow the commandments 100 percent we put on fringes we do this we do that you know these men are, are really ignorant man because you see this truth can also make you really ignorant this truth can blind you you know they have this truth but certain things they don't see they are ashamed of this gospel you know the bible speaks on different laws and how to handle different situations you know but these people they cherry pick what they want that fits their heart desires and that thing that's a little hard for them to to understand they just put it by away and they say all different kinds of slander words against it an example is the rape issue the bible teaches you how to handle rape but these people are ashamed of the gospel because they are one leg in the world and one leg in the truth remember many are called but few are chosen and Yahweh Shai himself said it not all that call me on that day Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai is going to be saved many people are going to be calling on Yahweh Shai and will say get ye away from me I never know you you worker of iniquity this is how crucial this truth is because you see remember what I just read this truth it perfects the heart man lots of people come into this truth that knowledge is heavy they believe they got it all figured out and they become demons man they become heavy demons now there is nothing to boast about in this truth where you if you want to boast the book of jeremiah says you should boast that you have this truth this only thing but you shouldn't boast that you've made it don't boast that you already got it all figured out and that's the problem with many hebrew israelite camps they think they got it all figured out and a good example is the sikari men this this young men they believe they got it all figured out because they know the name of the most high yahawa they know the name of yahawa shai they know a few breakdowns in which they learned from from the apostles of uh, of great millstone the elders and apostles of great millstone you know and now they broke off they're doing their own thing they make merchandise of this truth you know you know we pray for these brothers actually we pray for them the most high you know opens their eyes so they can see the wickedness that they're really into but this is this is how how, how this truth can be this truth this truth is is a, is a stumbling block to many and it is a it is a gateway to many to many others you know a few others not really many you see you're saved by grace you're not saved by your works it's not how many commandments you, you you follow that makes you save or whatever you see it's all vanity man you're saved if you're chosen by the most high yahweh to be saved 
So you see, the only thing you can do in this truth is to be humble, man. Humble yourself before the Most High Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Praying for forgiveness every day and praying for His Spirit to guide you through till the end. You see. Now let's get a scripture, the book of Ephesians, chapter two. I'll start from verse eight. It says, "For by grace ye, um, for by grace are ye saved through faith." You see, it's not you. You need to by grace you're saved. Now, if you go into the word grace, let's see what it says. It says graciousness of manner or act abstract or, con uh, or concrete of spiritual it says especially the divine influence upon the art and its reflection in the life you know there must be a spiritual influence on you it says goodwill loving kindness favor of the merciful kindness by which the most high exerting his holy influence upon souls turn them to hamashayak yaushai keeps strengthens increase them in um amashiachian faith knowledge affections and kindle them to the exercise of amashiachian's value so you see it is uh it is let's let's in, in short words let's just say it's uh it's a uh, um it's a spiritual intervention from the most high upon you that's what grace is it's not by your power it's not by how much you you do it's not by how good you look or whatever you know it's a spiritual intervention from the part of the most high yahweh shem yahushai says for by for by grace are ye saved through faith you also need to have faith you know and those who have faith have a blind faith really their faith is men they don't think man they just have that faith in the most high yahweh shem yahushai it's like you're walking on, on on a very high mountain and you're walking with your eyes closed you don't care about the next step you're taking the next step you're taking might be uh, 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 an empty space that you can fall for maybe 20 or thirty thousand feet it doesn't matter but you know that if you fall something is ready to catch you and protect you this is fate man you know we walk with our eyes closed believing that the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai got our back. Just like uh, the three brothers, um, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know? They were thrown into the furnace of fire. They, they, they accepted it, but they knew that the most high in one way or the other was going to protect them and nothing was going to happen to them. This is fate. And truly, they got protected. The fire didn't do any harm to them. This is fate. So you see, it's by grace and true faith. And you see, many of these people in this Hebrew Israelite thing, they say they have faith, but they don't have faith. That's why you have different Hebrew Israelite camps turn this truth into merchandise because they don't believe the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will provide their needs. Now, if you take Great Millstone as example, this is the only camp, as far as I am concerned, as far as I have made different searches, it's the only camp that's not depending on donations from the people and all these things if you donate it's good you know but the apostles and the elders of great millstones will never ask you for any donation or whatever this is faith because they know the most tight yahweh shimmy or shy we cater for their needs but you see you have the rest of the other hebrew israelite camps they will always tell you oh please donate do this and do that because they are faithless they depend on that money. Their heart is still attached to that world. They don't have faith that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will provide for them. Didn't Yahweh Shai tell you not to think of what you shall eat or wear tomorrow? So you see, this is where faith comes in. Or you want to take, for example, the Sikari that they don't believe, they don't have that faith that Yahweh Shai can be a bulletproof for them when they get shot and no bullet is going to come in on them. That's why they need to have their camps with bulletproof vests that's why they need to have their camps with 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 AK-47s, you know, automatic weapons to protect themselves. This is carnal, man. These people are faithless. Now, those who have eyes and have the spirit to understand will understand all these things. And those who are blind will remain blinded and follow those people. So you see, I'm not trying to take any shots. I'm just saying things the way they are, man. Because, you know, we're cautioned to speak the truth at all times. 
and this is the truth if you receive it good for you if you don't receive it it's all good you know this truth is not for everybody you know as the book of romans um 11 7 tells you you know what is it that israel seeketh for but the, the elections are uh, the election have received it and the rest were blinded so this is it now it says for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of the most high yahar basham yahushai not of works lest any man should boast and this is a cold cut to a lot of camps out there that they tell you all oh, commandments and commandments and commandments and commandments you know these people believe by their works they will make it but everything is uh, is, is is all determined by the most high yahweh shimmy al shai it's not by our power now let's get the book of john 15 and 27 it says now you can go read the full chapter it's a beautiful chapter you have the book of john 15 you know the book of john 14 15 16 and 17 very fundamental chapters man you know he says but when the comforter is come when i will send unto you from the father even the spirit of truth which proceeded from the father he shall testify of me and ye also shall be a witness because ye have been with me from the beginning so you see those people that are going to make it those people that are going to you know receive this truth and are going to be saved the 144,000 in which we humbly pray that we are part of that number we are not saying we're part of that number but we say it through faith man i am part of that number i say it through faith but i am doing it humbly man praying every day and doing the work that i'm told to do to the best of my ability to be part of that number you know these people are chosen they, they they've been with your shy from the beginning you know this is a rigged game it's a rigged game it's not a game like you play and oh someone might win or someone might lose no this is a rigged game the elects have been chosen from the beginning and nothing can sift them out the book of john always you know um 17th chapter i'll read from the 13th verse it says and now come i to thee and these things i speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves this is yao shai speaking I have given them thy word, and the word has hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Speaking of the elect, he say, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from the evil. So the elect are going to be saved no matter what goes on, man. He says, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. And that's clear, man, you know. You don't see great millstone going to the to the to, to to the strip clubs you know pouring out dollars on the floor looking at naked girls even if they do it it's all personal man they don't pull it out there for for anyone to see but i believe no great millstone member is doing that because you know the elder post taha put out a, a decree that we don't we don't participate in such acts man you know what has light to do with darkness you know so you see it says sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth as thou hast sent me into the world even so have i sent them into the world so you see the most high yahweh shimmy al shai has sent a number of his elect into the world there is nothing that can shake them out of the truth you know there is nothing the devil is going to do to bring them out of the truth because they've been ordained from the beginning just like the book of jeremiah 1 5 tells you you know he says before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb i sanctified thee and i ordained thee a prophet unto the nations the prophets have been ordained before coming here man this is a rigged game it's not it's not it's not how much commandments you keep or how you try to portray yourself as a holy person and then remember i'm not saying that you shouldn't keep the commandments you know because if you want to walk in righteousness you can't walk in righteousness without the laws the statutes and commandments it's the way that leads to righteousness you know 
we keep it to the best of our ability knowing that we can't keep it perfectly due to the captivity we find ourselves so you see so this is where humility comes in we're praying for the most high yahweh shimmy al to see us true because we are saved by grace now speaking of a million ways to fall out remember the most high has an angel on his left hand side which is satan satan does the will of the most high yahweh shimmy al and satan's job is to find out a million ways to sift you out of this trove you know that is his job now you can go read the book of um of job the first chapter the second chapter you know they tell you about the conversation the most High had with satan and it shows you that satan is also one of the sons of the most high is is a being created by the most high an angel created by but his job is to sift you out of the truth and satan is always thinking of how many ways to sift you out a million ways more than a million ways satan can sift you out with by food it can sift you out by women it can sift you out by money it can sift you out by your by your vain desires it can sift you out by any damn means our savior yahweh is a great um example satan offered the word to him satan tried to test him by telling him with, with pride man he says you throw yourself you know the angels are going to protect you you're not going to dash your foot on the on the feet he, he offered them the world he offered them everything you know so satan is a very intelligent being way more intelligent than you can imagine and his job his duty is that of finding a million more than a win million ways to sift you out of this truth you know but the elect are not going to be sifted out just like the book of job 1 7 tells you it says now let me read from verse 6 it says now there was a day when the sons of the most high yahweh shimmy Shai came to present themselves before the lord yahweh shimmy Shai, and satan came also among them and this is a this is a cold court to this bogged out churches that's how you know that the most high yahweh shimmy Shai is not dealing with them how can satan be called the sons of god comes among the sons of god that's because it's one of the sons of the most high yahweh shimmy Shai. The book of um deuteronomy um is it 32 39 it tells you that the most high does good and evil you know the book of um of um is it second samuel 2 10 it tells you how the most high makes rich makes poor he does good he does evil amos also tells you is there any evil in the city that the most high has no hand in it you know but the people are blinded those who will receive it will receive it he says and Yahweh Shimei Shai said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth, from walking up and down in it. And what's he doing? Going to and fro, looking for ways to sift you out. This is his duty, you know? A million ways for you to fall out this truth, but only one way for you to get into it, and that way is Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai does not ordain you to come into this truth, it doesn't matter how much breakdowns you, you watch, it doesn't matter how much books you go, how many seminary, whatever you take, even if you take direct lessons from the elder apostle Taha, it doesn't matter, you still wouldn't get it if the Most High has not chosen you to get it. You know? So this is how it works. Now the book of 1 Peter, where is it? Oh, excuse me. The book of First Peter, chapter five, verse eight. It tells you, be vigil, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The devil, which represents the so-called white man in power right now, you have the spiritual devil and the physical counterpart, which is the so-called white man Esau, Edom. These people are looking for different ways, you know, to devour you, to take away your crown. That's why we've been told to hold that fast that we have, lest Satan come and take away our crown, you know? There are a million ways to fall out. That's why you see many of our brothers, they've been enticed. They sell their souls for peanuts, you know? Many brothers sell their souls and sign those contracts because of they want fame, 
many of them because of women many of them because of money many of them because of you know pride and all different kinds of things man you know so you see the book of second corinthians 2 and 11 says lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices he has so much devices to sift you out to get rid of that truth and that truth is the most is is the most precious treasure you can get right here on earth your whole existence there is no treasure you can get that's what more than this truth so you see very very important man you know and you pay close attention pride is a is a huge disease man you know the pride is 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 a big thing that can destroy you man so you really need to be humble in this walk praying to the most high yahaba shimmy or shy to see you true i bring out one last precept and i close this lesson this is the book of luke chapter 22 and verse 31 And this is the most I speaking to Peter. He says, And Yahashai said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. So you see. You see, his name was, was first Simon, you see. He says a rock or stone. He says, And Yahashai said unto Peter or Simon, Okay, behold, Satan has desire to have you that he may sift you as wheat. And that's the same thing. If Satan can be behind the stone, you know, that's that's the apostle that has the keys, man. That's King David. If you can receive it through the spirit, man, Satan is right behind him looking for all different kind of ways to sift them. Think less of bare men like us, man. Satan is right there looking for every situation to sift us away. Even myself, I need to pay close attention, you know. That's why, you know, we pray because Satan uses all different kinds of things. He finds your weak points. Many brothers have weak points, which is women, you know, they're born just like myself, you know. And Satan can use that to, to, to get to us, man, you know. So we really need to pay attention and pray for, man, it's all about praying for help man you know we are helpless without the most high yaba shimmy or shy it's not by our power some people satan gets them through money some people through all different kinds of ways so it's only one way to get into this truth which that way is yaha shy and there are a million ways to get out to, to, to fall out of this truth so hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high yaba shimmy or shy I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukakudash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And on to the next one, Shalom.